the quarterfinals. And finally, coming to the grassroots, Nigeria stands to benefit immensely if adequate support is given to the development of football in all its forms and manifestations. This position was highlighted at the first media party ahead of the 2024 edition of the Spires Five-A-Side Football Tournament in Lagos. The event brought together sports journalists from both the traditional and new media, as well as administrators all on the same page in efforts to redefine Nigerian street football and harnessing the men's talents within the communities. This is a project that is dear to my heart and it is because it is one that would impact the lives of young people. If you look at Nigeria's population demography, there are so many young people. In fact, nearly 70% of Nigeria's population are young people. And when you have these young people who you can channel their energy into something productive, a project like this would give them that opportunity to showcase their talent and let the world see that God has imbued in us great potential. And I believe that it's an opportunity for the world to see um, what we have. And now that entertainment, for example, is Nigeria's most um, evident um, export, I think that we can take um, the sports sector, exploit the tremendous potential and get the very best out of it. In this era that um, players are scarce, in this era that um, we look for players everywhere in the world, everywhere in Nigeria to look for players to play for professional football, I think this um, five-a-side is actually a good one because um, we can see that there are talents, um, mentioned names of strikers, mentioned names of midfielders, and I think for sport and straight for clubs in, in Nigeria, even in Lagos, this is an avenue for them to scout and look for more players to come on board to play professional football in Nigeria. Our number one commitment is that the commission is going to be endorsed without any hindrances. And uh, they, they, they also have, uh, if there is any centre or venue that the organisers need access to, um, and it's, there is difficulty in getting such a, a places, the FA can also come up to ensure that they get it easily. Uh, don't forget that uh, the referees, they are affiliates of the FA. So um, even when the referees come to officiate in such a competition, it's because the LSFA, Legal State Board Association, has made it happen. So there are so many things that the FA can do to um, encourage competitions like this, especially if they are approached. Organizers say the futsal-styled Spires Five-A-Side Football Tournament is transforming Nigerian street soccer experience into a platform for positivity, empowerment and opportunity. A total system whereby we are not just asking people to come and play for a moment. What we are trying to do is to ensure that they play the tournament, they have the win money, they get the right mentorship, and we also create local leagues at street level, at division level, at local government level, so that we can begin to crop players and differentiate people who are just passionate from people who are skilled, and at the back of that, create an ecosystem whereby we can begin to trade players, actually, like it's been done all over the world in, in, in developed economies, because we have the human capital, we have the talent, we have the skill, and we have the uh, environment which is conducive for this. So the bit that is actually missing is the administration and planning and also the investment. And that is why we have come onto the table to actually put all this in place to ensure that we can hit the uh, ground running and we're ex expecting people to join us in this bit. Already, excitement is building among teams, coaches and players. It's an opportunity for young people to showcase their talent. And instead of looking at young people in your community and calling them lazy youths, or lazy people, or layabouts. This is an opportunity for you to be proud of your community and the young people in your community. So why not take advantage of this opportunity? Instead of looking at Ikeja and saying, Ikeja youths are, Ekwe youths are, Lagos Island youths are, Badagri youths are, come out, celebrate them, support them, and take advantage of, of this opportunity. All potential footballers, especially grassroots, they want to go global. I don't think I am an exception to that. So I want to go global. I and my teammates, we want to go global. So I know this is a stepping stone to that. And I will not rest on whatever I have won here, the Azure Square. No, I won't rest on it. I'll continue to work hard, even harder to be wherever I want to be. Surely and truly now, a lot will be on offer in a blend of sports and entertainment, sportainment if you like, when the tournament begins on November 9 and ends with the grand finale on Saturday, November 30th in Lagos. And that's a tidbit on Sports Extra for today. Enjoy the rest of the package.